there. I didn't recognize you guys. We're Pittsburgh Connections, and we're, uh, well, we're not in the field, so I guess we're in the work shed. So we're out here in the work shed. We're building ourselves a prop today. So what we're going to build is a prop tent. Now, I do not suggest you sleep in this because this will not offer you any sort of protection at all against the elements. So unless you want to be sleeping in the rain and the bugs and everything else, this is not for sleeping. This is a great prop outside your cabin. If you want to make a, a, mi a field and have some miners set up or even have a couple soldiers in a, in a field. These are quick, easy to build, easy to carry, easy to move, easy to set up. So let's jump right to it. Before we begin, might be a good idea to just take a survey of some of the tools that we're going to need. Some of them are some basic household tools everyone should have. A pair of scissors, maybe a marker to make some marks, but some of it you're probably going to need to buy specially. One of the things we're going to need is some sort of a canvas material. Now this is a bed sheet that we got at the thrift store for a dollar. So this is a nice easy find. We also have some clothesline that we had laying around. We're going to need some one foot segments here. These are going to be turned into our spikes, stakes to hold the tent up. And of course, we're going to need a piece of lumber here. Now this one is 96 inches, I believe. Um, and then when we cut it down, we cut it down into, uh, I believe they're 48, 96, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my camera guys tell me my math is right. So I'm gonna go with that. It's a 96 long uh, piece of wood. We're gonna cut it in half to 48. Some of the other things that you're probably going to need, oh, is a little sledgehammer. A hammer could work or even a rubber mallet could work, but I had this laying around, so. That's what I'm going to use. You're going to need a drill with a pretty large drill bit. That's actually going to go through to make holes for the clothesline to run through. And of course, some sort of an easy table saw here. Table saw. An easy hand saw. If you want, we're also finally going to need some little mini stakes. I got these, uh, I borrowed these off of a Christmas project. These were, uh, to, be, to hold down some Christmas decorations. So I'm gonna borrow them for this one and make sure I put them back when I'm done. To make your life easier, as you'll see later in the video, we actually use electrical tape to hold uh, some pieces together while we work. You might need some electrical tape or any other tape would work. And for safety, I also use a C-clamp. Um, I suggest you use some sort of a C-clamp or any other clamp to hold down your wood as you work, um, just for safety measures. All right, let's hop to it. So what we have here is, this is a piece of wood that we bought at the local uh, hardware store for about $2. It's uh, raw wood, it's pretty pretty dirty, pretty messy, but uh, again, for this work, we need to be kind of cheap because we're gonna be building a lot of these. So this one, I believe, is 96 inches long. So I am going to make each one about 48 inches. About each uh, tent pole is gonna be about 48 inches long. So I measure that out, 48 here. Now that we have our measurements, we're ready to cut. Nice and perfect. It's gonna be very hard for you to drive this flat block here into the ground. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to make a triangular cut into the wood here. And when we make that cut, it'll be easier to drive these into the ground and stake them. So after you make your lines, Come through. Doesn't need to be absolutely perfect because it's going to be underground. And there you go. Do that to each tent pole. Our tent poles are nearly done. But what we need to do next is actually make a place for the string to go through. So what you can easily do is take a drill bit. Now I've got a pretty large one here. This is actually going to be much larger than the string itself and that's perfectly fine. What I want to do is, is make sure that I'm not too close to the edge here, because if I'm too close to the edge and I start pounding that part in, there could be a tendency for that hole to break. So maybe give yourself a good inch or so back, take your drill bit, center it over the hole, and drill. A nice hole like that. Get all the extra wood out of the way. Do that to both tent poles. And our tent posts are done. Let's move on to the next part. We need to make stakes. What we have next are, we have some little pieces of wood here that are about a foot long. 
Now, this next part, uh, if, you're, if you're like me, you wanna be a little more safe, you might wanna get yourself a C-clamp of some sort. What we'll do here is we're gonna C-clamp this to our work station. I'm using here, obviously, some patio furniture. And we're also gonna need to make that same kind of a cut onto our stakes. And you make that same cut again. So I'm gonna draw out my triangle. Come through. I'm a right-handed kind of guy. So this is actually kind of more difficult to do that left-handed. So ah, here we are. And there we go. We have both of our stakes with their nice triangular cuts there to help drive them into the ground a little bit further. And uh, Dracula or any other vampires that uh, <laughs> might come your way. So what we need to do now is we need to also make holes at the top here for our string. So take your drill again. Come down about an inch. Again, very carefully. and drill your holes. Come down about an inch. And now, our stakes are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first stake, find a good place in the ground to put it, give it a good couple of whacks, and we're in. Pretty stable there. Take your canvas material for your tent. This here again is a blanket that we got at the thrift store. We're going to lay it out to see how wide our tent's going to need to be. Now it's good if you have a couple, little bit of overhang because it'll look a little cooler. Uh, you want to make sure that the long end is going this way as opposed to where our, our poles are going to be. So that way you can get a nice kind of an angle there. Take your other spike. Oh. I'm gonna put my hammer. <laughs> There's my hammer. Keep track of your tools. We're gonna take our other spike. About to here. Hammer it in. So I have a clothesline here that's actually left over from a project that I did. So I kind of have a little bit of a frayed piece here. A quick, easy tip for all of you out there. If you wanna thread your clothesline or any other rope, is to take your tape and kind of make a nice little knot there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start, whoop, we're gonna start from this side over, feed our string through, come over to the other side, feed our string through, pull a little bit there, take your string, feed it here, through your stake. And we're gonna do a nice big knot here, just a wanna and a tour, and we're good to go. Pull some of your slack down here, find a pretty good angle, take your sledgehammer, sledge it in. Nice. You want to pull it a little bit tight here. Now the weight of the canvas is actually going to pull this down, so it's okay if you kind of pull a little tight. Bring down, kind of eye out how much you think you're going to need of string wise. Take a pair of scissors, if you need to. Take your tape there to help you from fraying a bit. It's great about electrical tape is you don't need to use scissors here, you just pull it. There you are. Take your other stake, feed through, tie it off again. A one up. And a two up. Really nice. Find some good place to spike it. We're kind of running out of room here, but. That's okay. Sometimes might be on the edge of the woods there. And we look like we're ready to put our canvas on. Well, it's looking pretty good so far. Let's put our canvas up. Take your canvas, shake out all the bugs, throw it right over. You gotta get those sides as even as you can be. Looking pretty good. So now that we have it nice and even, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our little metal spikes here, find a good place, 
and these are tough enough that they'll actually cut right to the fabric there for you so you don't need to make a pre-hole there. Do that on each of your four corners. Go around, take your next spikes, and let's go. All right, now we're all staked in. Shouldn't have that much of a problem when the wind blows. And actually, we're, uh, we're pretty much done. This is our tent right here. If you need to go around and uh, make any adjustments you think you might need to make, I uh, would actually take this corner here maybe and pull that out a bit. Yeah, and I think we're looking actually pretty nice here. Now I said it's easy to set up and it's easy to take apart. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this all apart and make it into a nice one big bundle for you so it's easy to be moved around from campsite to campsite. I said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, this is a bed sheet. So <laughs> I would not probably want to sleep in this, but it is a great prop tent. If you need to display an army, if you need to have some troops marching around, or if you want to make a nice little mining camp or pirate camp. So this is a nice, cheap, easy substitute. Uh, the cost of all this between the metal spikes, between the wood, between the extra string we have here and the bed sheet, this is all under $10. So if you buy this all in bulk, you can probably make a couple of these tents and uh, make your game look uh, a little more authentic out there. Leaving Pittsburgh Connections. We'll see you out there. Let's, oh. Nice.